して3の6リズム3の6。Hi there. Welcome to Calmanfan. We hope you enjoy every single second while you are using our website. Your satisfaction is our first priority. If you have any thought about our product, please let us know. We will be. Listen to part of a lecture in an astronomy class. Now, astronomy didn't really、uh, balloon into the science it is today until the development of spectroscopy. Spectroscopy is basically the study of spectra and spectral lines of light, and specifically for us, the light from stars. It makes it possible to analyze the light emitted from stars. When you analyze this light, you can figure out their distance from the Earth and identify what they're made of, determine their chemical composition. Before we get into that, though, it's probably a good thing to back up a bit. You all know how, when you take a crystal prism and pass a beam of sunlight through it, you get a spectrum which looks like a continuous band of rainbow colors. The light that we see with our human eyes as a band of rainbow color falls in the range of what's called visible light. And visible light spectroscopy is probably the most important kind of spectroscopy. Anyone want to take a stab at the scientific term for visible light? And I'm sure all of you know this because you all did the reading for today. <clears throat> Optical radiation. But I thought being exposed to radiation is dangerous. Yes and no. If you're talking about radiation, like in the element uranium, yeah, that's dangerous. But radiation, as a general term, actually refers to anything that spreads away from its source. So optical radiation is just visible light energy spreading out. Okay, so we've got a spectrum of a beam of sunlight, and it looks like the colors bleed into each other.、Uh, there are no interruptions; just a band flowing from violet to green to yellow to you get the idea. Well, what happens if the sunlight spectrum is magnified? Maybe you all didn't do the reading. Well, here's what you'd see. I want you to notice that this spectrum is interrupted by dark lines called spectral lines. If you really magnify the spectrum of the sunlight, you could identify more than a hundred thousand of them. They may look kind of randomly placed, but they actually form many distinct patterns. And if you were looking at the spectrum of some other star, the colors would be the same, but the spectral lines would break it up at different places. Making different patterns. Each pattern stands for a distinct chemical element, and so different sets or patterns of spectral lines mean that the star has a different chemical composition. So, how do we know which spectral patterns match up with which elements? Well, a kind of spectroscopic library of elements was compiled using flame tests. A known element,、uh, say a piece of iron, for example, is heated in a pure gas flame. The iron eventually heats to the point that it radiates light. This light is passed through a prism, which breaks it up into a spectrum, and a unique pattern, kind of like a chemical fingerprint of spectral lines for that element, appears. This process was repeated over and over again for many different elements, so we can figure out the chemical makeup of another star by comparing the spectral pattern it has to the pattern of the elements in the library. Oh, an interesting story about how one of the elements was discovered through spectroscopy. There was a pretty extensive library of spectral line patterns of elements, even by the 1860s. A British astronomer was analyzing a spectrograph of sunlight, and he noticed a particular pattern of spectral lines that didn't match anything in the library. So he put two and two together, and decided there was an element in the sun that hadn't been discovered here on the Earth yet. Any guesses about what that element is? It's actually turned out to be pretty common, and I'm sure all of you know it.
Okay, let's try something else. Any of you happen to be familiar with the Greek word for sun, by chance? Something like Helios or something like that. Oh, it must be helium. So you're saying that helium was discovered on the sun first? Yes, and this is a good example of how important spectroscopy is in astronomy. What is the lecture mainly about? What is the lecture mainly about? Different way of magnifying the spectrum of star. How chemical element was first discovered on the sun? Now, how serum identify the chemical element in star? Why the spectra of different stars are composed of different colors? Mm -hmm. What does the professor explain to one of the students about the term radiation? What can be inferred about two stars if their spectra have similar spectral line patterns? According to the professor, what is the purpose of heating an element in a spectroscopic flame test? Why does the professor say this? Before we get into that, though, it's probably a good thing to back up a bit. <sighs> he is about to repeat what he just said. Why does the professor ask this? Any of you happen to be familiar with the Greek word for sun, by chance? What is the lecture? How is the energy chemical and just Durant's mm -hmm. way of magnifying. Ah, magnified zoom. Now, how a chemical element was first discovered of the sun. How astronauts identify the chemical element in the star. 
Why does factor different store compose different car? What can be inferred? Inferred due or conclude from evidence and reasoning rather than inferred. To study an element in combination with other element, other element to remove implement from the to measure the element's resistance to heat. To cause element emit emit any. あ、くそ。頭の中でイメージしてたのに銅とか銅が緑色とかやろ。Cause element to emit light. Emit さえわかってる。リリースか。Why professor said he intends to explain different point of view. He intends to focus on the history of an he about the repeat he about to provide background why does the professor say this extensive library of spectral line patterns of elements even by the 18th extensive library of spectral line patterns of elements even by the 18th
Why sun, by chance? Something like Helios or Listen to part of a lecture in an astronomy class. Listen to part of the lecture in astronomy class. Now, astronomy didn't really uh, balloon into the science it is today until the development of spectroscopy. Spectroscopy is basically... Now, astronomy didn't really um, balloon into the science it is today until the development of spectroscopy. Balloon, bloom. What's this name? Spectrography, spectrography, spectrography. Boom, ho, boom, ho, boom, ho, boom, ho, boom, ho, boom, ho, ho. Okay, there. Spectroscopy is basically the study of spectra and spectral lines of light. Okay. And specifically for us, the light from stars. It makes it possible but to analyze... Frost, and any frost. Spectrography is basically, basically study of spectra and spectral lines of light and spectra... Spectra... Spectifical... Spect... Specti... Spectifically, 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 spectif spectifically for us, the light from stars. Okay, go. Spectroscopy is basically the study of spectra and spectral, and spectral lines, of lines of light, spectral lines of light and specifically and for, for us, the light from stars. Star. It makes it possible to analyze the light emitted. Do you mean? Uh, and spectrically for us, what? This, talk in English, kind of thing, right? Specifically, specifically, specifically for us, the right from stars. Okay. It makes it possible to analyze the light emitted from stars. When you analyze. It makes it possible to analyze the light emitted from stars. Okay, okay, okay. When you analyze this light, you can figure out their distance from the Earth and yeah. identify what they're made of, determine their chemical composition. Before we get into that, though, it's probably a good thing to back up a bit. Hi, hi, hi. When you analyze this light, you can figure out your different difference from the earth and identify what they are made of determine their chemical composition before we get into that though it's probably a good thing to back up a bit before we get into that uh, before we get into that those it prob probably a good things to back up a bit Bag beta. Before we get into that, though, it's that before though, we get into that, though, that though, it's probably a good thing to back up a bit. Back up a bit. Back up a bit. You all know how when you take a crystal prism and pass a beam of sunlight through it. You get a spectrum, which looks like a continuous band of rainbow colors. You all know how when you take a crystal prism and pass a beam of sunlight through it, you get a spectrum which looks like a con continuous band of rainbow corals. So, yeah, prism, this, prism, no, I did it. Hi, 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 hi. The light that we see with our human eyes as a band of rainbow color falls in the range of what's called visible light. 
the light that we see with our human eyes as a blend of rainbow coral fall in the range of what call visible visible light and visible light spectroscopy is probably the most important kind of spectroscopy anyone want to take a stab at the and visible light spectroscopy is probably the most important kind of spectroscopy anyone want to take visible light spect spectro spectroscopy spectroscopy spectro and visible light spectroscopy spectroscopy and visible light spectro spect spectroscopy scopy spectro spectroscopy is probably the most important kind of spectro spectroscopy and spectroscopy 気持ち悪い。スペクトロスカピー。Anyone want to take a stab at the scientific term for visible light? And I'm sure all of you know this because you all did the reading for today. <clears throat> <笑> Anyone want to take a stab at the scientific stab? Take a stab. <clears throat> Anyone want to take a stab at the science fic term of visible light? And I'm sure a lot of you know this because you are all did no reading for today. <clears throat> Optical radiation. But I thought being exposed to radiation is dangerous. Yes and no. If you're talking about radiation, like in the element uranium, yeah, that's dangerous. But radiation as a general term actually refers to anything that spreads away from its source. So optical radiation is just visible light energy spreading out. Yes or no. If you are talking about radiation like it element radium, yeah, that's dangerous. But radiation as a general term, general term, my pandagini, so sure. Social, social. Radiation is social. So, 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 way from the source so optical radiation is just visible light energy sp spreading out <laughs> what is They yeah, actually refer to anything that spread away from it. So, so optical radiation is just visual light energy spread out, spreading out. Okay, so we've got a spectrum of a beam of sunlight, and it looks like the colors bleed into each other. Uh, there are no interruptions, just a band flowing from violet to green to yellow to. You get the idea. <sighs> well. Okay, so we got a spectrum from a beam sunlight, and it looked like a coral bleeding into each other. They are interruption, just a blend from violet to green to red. Uh, you get in the idea. Well, what happens if the sunlight spectrum is magnified? 
Maybe you all didn't do the reading. Well, here's what you'd see. I want you to notice that this spectrum is interrupted by dark lines, called spectral lines. Well, well that happened is the sunlight spectrum is magnified. Well, what happened if the sunlight spectrum is magnified but the spectrum is under? Maybe you didn't do that reading. Well, here, what you are see, I want to you not notice that this spectrum is interpreted by dark line called spectral lines. If you really magnify the spectrum of the sunlight, you could identify more than a hundred thousand of them. They may look... If you really magnify the spectrum of the sunlight, you could identify, identify more than 100,000 of aim. They may look kind of randomly placed, but they actually form many distinct patterns. And if you were looking at the spectrum of some other star, the colors would be the same, but the spectral lines would break it up at different places making different patterns they may look kind kind of randomly placed but they actually from the many distinct patterns and if you are looking at the sp spectrum of some other star the color would be the same but the spectral line would break it up different place making different pattern Returns. Each pattern stands for a distinct chemical element, and so different sets or patterns of spectral lines mean that the star has a different chemical composition. So, how do we know which spectral patterns match up with which? <laughs> distinct chemical element, and so different set of pattern of spectral lines mean that stars have different chemical composition. Each pattern stands for a distinct chemical element, and so different sets or patterns of spectral lines mean that the star has a different chemical composition. So, how do So, how do we know which spectral patterns match up with which elements? Well, a kind of spectroscopic library of elements was compiled using flame tests. A known element, uh, say a piece of iron, for example, is heated in a pure gas flame. The iron eventually heats to the point that it radiates light. This light is passed through a prism, which breaks it up into a spectrum, and a unique pattern, kind of like a chemical finger. So, how do we know which spectral patterns match up with which elements? Well, a kind of spect- So, how do we know which spectral patterns match up with which element? So, how do we know which spectral patterns match up with which elements? Well, a kind of spectroscopic library of elements was compiled using flame tests. A known element- well, a kind of structural library element, we compose the flame test. A known element, uh, say a piece of iron, for example, is heated in a pure gas flame. The iron eventually heats to the point that it radiates light. This light is passed through a prism, which breaks it up into a spectrum and a unique pattern, kind of like a chemical fingerprint of spectral lines for that element appears. This process was repeated over and over again for many different elements, so we can figure out the chemical makeup of another star by comparing the spectral pattern it has to the pattern of the elements in the library. 
Well, a kind kind of spectroscope scope scopic library of element was compiled using frame test a, a known element uh, so say a piece of iron for example it ha heated in a poor gas flame the iron eventually heat to a point of the re ready radiate light this light passed through the prism which break it into a spectrum as and a unique pattern, kind of like a chemical fingerprint of spectral line from that ele element appears. This process was repeated over and uh, over, over and on over again for many different elements. So we can figure out the element chemical makeup <laughs> of another star by comparing the spectral pattern it has to the spect pattern of the element in the library library oh an interesting story about how one of the elements was discovered through spectroscopy there was a pretty extensive library of spectral line patterns of elements even by the 1860s a British astronomer was analyzing a spectrograph of sunlight and he noticed a particular pattern of spectral lines that didn't match anything in the library so he put two and two together and decided there was an element in the sun that hadn't been discovered here on the earth yet any guesses about what uh, so we can figure out uh, oh an interest story about how one the element was discovered through spectro spectroscopy there was a pretty uh, extensive library at special special line pattern of element event by 1860s a british astronomer was analyzed a spectrograph of sunlight and noticed particular pattern of spectral line that didn't match anything rivalry so he put two and two together and decided there was an element in the sun that hadn't been discovered here on the earth yet any so he put two and two together and decided that was a in the sun that had been discovered here on the earth yet any guesses about what that element is it's actually turned out to be pretty common and I'm sure all of you know it. Okay, let's try something else. Any of you happen to be familiar with the Greek word for sun by chance? Something. Okay, let's try something else. Any of you happen to be familiar with Greek word for sun by chance? Something like Helios or something like that. Oh, it must be helium. So you're saying that helium was discovered on the sun first? Yes, and this is a good example of how important spectroscopy is in astronomy. Yes, and this is a good example for how important spectroscopy in astronomy is. <laughs> Hi there, welcome to Calmanthan. Oh, okay,
when we look at the way in which biological biological The word key in this passage is closest mean. Uh, geographic isolation of species. species. Biologist Erzin Merrill defined a species as an actual or potentially interbreeding population that does not interbreed with other such population when there is opportunity to do so. A key. A key event in the origin of many species species is the separation of a population with this gen pool. All of the gen in the population at yet any one time from other population of the same species, thereby preventing population interbreeding. With its gen, gen pool isolated, a separate population can follow its own evolutionary course. In the form, in the formation of many species, the in initial isolation of a population seems to have been a geographic barrier. This mode of evolution evolving new species is called allopardic speciation. Key. Biologist Ernst Meyer defined, us, defined a species as an actual, uh, actuary or potentially interbreeding population that does not interbleed with other such population when there is opportunity to do so. A key event, are partial, noticeable, frequent, even in the origin of many species is the separation of a population with it is gainful all of the gen in the population at any one time from other population of the same species to uh, yeah, it's uh, initial initial or first uh, uh, the from other population of the same species, terribly preventing population interbreeding. With it gain pool isolated, a separate population can follow its own evolutionary course. In the formation of many species, the initial isolation of the population seems to be have been geographic barrier. This made of 
evolving new species is called arbor version. Um, a population contains all of different gen present uh, species at the popular time. A population become isolated due to the present of the ge geographic barrier. Genetic mixing begins to occur a uh, species to survive the crossing general barrier. How is paragraph two related to paragraph one? Many factors can isolate the population geographically. A mountain range may emerge and gradually split a population or organism that can inhabit only low land lakes. Certain fish population might become isolated in this way. Simply a creeping glacier may gradually divide a population, or a land bridge such as the Latums of Panama may from a separative the marine life in the ocean, water, or either side. Our number paragraph to point out a number of ways in which the phenomenon of the isolation methods can occur. Uh, I didn't very discover discoveries that led to the conclusion. Conclusion, Janina, to provide evidence evidence supporting the statement one that a population can flow. It on evolutionary course once the general pool become a threat. Explain why the term allopplicate called applicate allopplicate was adopted to describe the method of species describer. <laughs> a point out of number of way. Uh, point out a number of way. In which the phenomenon of isolate mention occur. Do you ho ho de okurka? Why the term was adopted to describe the. Ichika yon datte! Go to Koka. How from my me double? How me from from me double? From me double to Nani. How from me double must a geographical barrier be to keep population apart? It depends on the ability of the organism to move across barriers. Birds and coyote can easily cross mountain and river. The passage of wind blown tree pollen is also not hindered hindered by such barriers. Hindered pollen. And it seems that many plants may be carry, carried back and forth on animals. In, in contrast, small rodents rodent may found a deep canon. Rodents. 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 Rodents may found a deep canon or a wide river. Canon, uh, Takikana, Canyon, Canyon, or Wide River and Effective Barrier. Lo Lodens, Lodens, may find a deep canyon or a wide river and effective barrier. For example, the Grand Canyon in the southwestern United States separate, separate the range of, of the white tail antelope. White tail antelope, the Nanganodobjana, from the, that out the closest rated Harry's antelope, squire, squirrel, squirrel, 
this mm, small with the shorter tail that is the white underneath the white tailed antelope squirrel inhabited desert north of the canyon and west of the Colorado River in Southern California, Harris antelope squirrel has a more limited range of desert south of the Grand Canyon. Nanangadekai Mononi are less likely to keep a part population of plant than population of animal. Barriers are more likely to keep a part population of large organisms that population of small organisms. Uh, independent of the ability of the barrier. Some, some member of the species are able to close growing barrier while other member of the same species are not. While other The weakness of geographic barrier in keeping organism apart depends on the organism ability to move across barrier. Where they go? Mm, so, idea that white tail and you know, square and her of the following common they are the two smallest rodents now found at the southern United States. They have white curling under the tail too. Geographic isolate creation opportunity. Uh, geographic isolation creates an opportunity for new species to develop, but it does not necessarily lead to new species because species occur not only when the gen pool and undergoes undergoes experience allows undergo allow enough change to establish reproductive barriers between the isolate population and it is present population the likelihood of a low per get person increase when a population is small as well as isolate making it more likely than a large population 
to have it is gen pool change substantially. For example, in less than 2 million years, small population of stars, animals, and plants for the South American main mainland that managed to localize a geographic island give rise to all the species that now inhabit the island. Cold prevent undergoes undergoes. Uh, which of the near uh, island is sometimes but not always the reason for the creation of this Productive barriers between the uh, genetic change in geographical population do not necessarily make the population like different enough from the parent population to be considered a new species. Hydrogen uh, allow the separated population to envelop in then family of each other and so can lead to the formation of new species. Geographic isolation can lead to new species. Geographic isolation. Geographic isolation can lead to new species only if the gen pool population, population change enough to prevent it from reproducing with the Parent population. Uh, why does the size of population affect the life of the person? Because a small isolation population can become a new species with less change to general pool than would required by a large population because the gen pool are small, like more undergo undergo substantial change than it is gen pool larger population. Likely to be made up of sterile animal of plants that like uh, uh, Managed. Meaning that managed to call nice. まあ、なんとかするやろ。なんとかするはフォース強くないね、できる。expand arrive か arrive は arrive expand expand when ocean ice island are far enough apart to 
permit population to uh, evolve in isolation but close enough to allow occasional dispersion to occur they are effectively outdoor isolation of evolution Fuck. the glass Pan galapagos island chain is one of the world's greatest showcase of evolution each island was brown from underwater vo volcano and was gradually covered by organism di driver were stirred what rude lord of ocean and wind from the other island and condition organism can also be called to island by other organisms such as seabirds that travel long distance with seas climbing to their further mm, the one of the world the richness of the volcanic soil of each the island is changed. The distance of the individual island from each other and for main, mainland. Mm -hmm. The species of the Galapagos Island today, most of which occur newer else dense and dense from organisms that floor floated flew or were blown over the sea from the south american mainland from intense the galapagos island chain has a total total of 13 species of the close related bird called galapagos features these birds have many simulation but differ in their feeding their feeding habit and their break type Plague type, which is cor coral, which is Tukumadeondake, completely isolated island after migrant from the mainland. The further population may have under a sign change it in game pool and become new species later. A few individuals of the new species may have been blown by storm to a neighboring island. Isolated on this second island, the second founder population could have evolved into a second new species, which could later recognize the island from which its founding population immigrant. Today, each group of island have multiple species, the fishness, which as many ten of the some island. And uh, the species of the Galapagos. The process of special and colonized could have been repeated over and over again. Later, a uh, Isolation can result when the geographic barrier can result when the geographic barrier from a split population when purism some get carried across an existing geographic barrier and from new population. Fish population are more easily isolated by geographic barrier than are populated other organisms because fish cannot move across area where there is no water. Space, 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 
Situation is more likely when isolated population is small because significant genetic changes are more likely to occur in a small population than in a large one. The Galapagos Islands were well studied for special because they provide opportunity for population isolation while also making occasional dispersion between island po possible. Because of the Galapago Gal geographic isolation of the Galapagos Islands, the species that now inhabit in them have gone folds that have not changed very much, not changed very much since the island were first. Just changed. Evidence indicated that the first organism to reach the and uh, the probably small population of uh, Hycoratemus. Go, 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 23 分オーバー6点半分以下。Fuck. きついわからん。Crucial は重要キー。あ、そういうことか。He important. He he. Initial first. Go to go. Have to go. Not so. Uh, my uh, the word my uh, defined the species as an actual or potential in Oh, uh, ここはなんかぽかったな Species as an actual or potentially interbleeding. Interbleeding, ah. Huh? Interbreeding. まあなんか That does not interbreed with other such population with their opportunity to do so. Oh. A key event in the origin of many species in the separation of the population with its gen pool. A key event in the origin of many species in the separation of the population with the Pool, gen pool, all of the gen is population or any one time for other population of the same species to evolve. Fa 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 In the information of many species, the initial. 難しい話だな。以上、これはむずい。なんでやね。十二点取れんね。中国人よ。ふざけやがって。パグラフィッチによると、一面は次のように可能でしょう。ポピュレーション contained all the different gen present in the species at a particular time。ポピュレーション become isolated due to the presence of genetic barrier。ゲームミックス、ビンジョーカー、インプレーシー、スプレッド、ポピュレーション。ポピュレーション、サクセス、クロスイング。Isolated. Vienna population become isolated due to the genetic barrier.
How is paragraph 2 related to paragraph 1? Paragraph 2 point out of number of way. Paragraph 2 of mother. No many program. Split population of the organism that can inhabit lakes. Causing fish population might become isolated in this way. Some similarly, a uh, creeping, uh, creeping glacier, glacial, glacial, glacial. Sugar, sugar, sugar. We gradually in the population of land bridge such as the ocean of Panama. How for a pecker of you look much are gonna do the chorus show the chorus show the chorus show chorus. How for uh, for all me ball for all me ball. Here or running, that powerful authority in team doubting, fall beating, fall beating, diverting, daunting, alarming, free, frightening, frightening, terrifying, terrifying, terrifying. 
ノレンって何？月種類へえー、デカバデカデカデッパとかねげっしるいって言うんだグランドキャニオンインダーサーチンナイデッドステイツプレディッドラインジョフトワイテイルスコールフォンドオーダークローズアイスコールやっぱしな、they cannot grand canyon でした。これ合ってたら7点。なので半分50点やった。undergoes experience。g o r d experience。undergoes じゃないですか。<笑>レクイエム
。読んでないか、これ。読んでないか。Geographers recently create opportunity for new species to develop, but it does not necessarily read the new species because, because speciation occurs only when the gene pool undergoes enough change to establish productive barrier between the isolated population and its parent population. Experience. Experience. Cold experience. Allows. いや、惜しいけどな、これは。undergoes ってど,どういう意味 ?undergoes の語源は何い
Because a lot of people more like Because smaller population more like read and larger population become generally isolated. Sura Kankirena because the general pool of some smaller isolated population more like read to undergo substance change than the general pool large population. Because small isolated population can become a new species with substantially less change of the general pool than the recall by the large pool. Because small population are more likely to become made of scary animal or plant than Managed or evil. なんとかするじゃない。管理やな。ああこれはなんで。いやこれはむずいよこれはむずいですわこれむずいじゃん合ってるのになオーシャンティックアイランド。When オーシャンティックアイランド are for are for enough part to permit population to Envelope isolation, but close enough to allow us to close a core. They are to be outdoor. The notion of a far enough part to permit population to envelop the isolation, but close enough to allow occasional dispersion. Dispersion. Bunsang. Fuck. Pa 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 pa. Ooh, way buddy. I should call upon my deputy card. Copy.
prevent 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 so the whole for silent change is one of the four greatest change evolution Each island were born for underwater volcanic Filter, filter, wing, wing. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Support the idea that the geographic island chain was able to become one of the world's largest showcase of the world of the richness of the China, the distance of Korea. This distance, distance. Kore wa wakatte ta juni kara jikan ga nai ne. Ue kara 2 fun 4 biyo. 57 biyo 2 fun. Kore ka. 4 fun. Kore ka kari sugi ta. Atte ru kedo. 1分、1分、いいよ。2分、いいじゃん。42、いいよ。いいよ。え、なんでなんだじゃ。42、28分なのか、この場合。あ、なるほどね。なるほどね。For instance, in Garfield's island chain has total of 13 species the closely related bird called Garfield species. These birds have many similar but differ in the feeding habit. They are black big type which co correct with what they eat mm -hmm. all 13 species are now found on most of island uh, species are dense dead.
Chain population and scroll bar. まあ、カランガラ山崎。はーい。accumulate, accumulate, accumulate evidence indicate that the older gene species is involved from single small population of ancestral birds that colonize of the island. Completely island on the, isolated on the island after Migrant from the mainland of under population may have undergo, undergone significant change in gene pool and become new species. Later, a few individuals of the new species may have been blown by storms to a neighboring island. Isolated of this second island, the second founder population cove could have evolved into a second species, which is later recognized Thailand from the this population mainly. Today, the species eat many. なるほど。っていうことは、この間やなと。間に入るやろ、これ。やっぱしいじゃ。なるほどね。わかってきたよ。わかってきたよ、わかってきたよ。Our 13 species are now found most of the girl blogs. Now found is on most of the girl Other t h i n g species, density, 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 density is from. Instead from the from all 13, then was originally colonized by fish from the mainland. Beaches occur only a small c o m p a r e d island population. FBC ACD, then the Chica u y a Uh, isolation can result when a geographic barrier from a n split population of when a few organisms somehow get carried across an existing geographic barrier and form a new population. Fish population more a c u i n e B got misread or is t a r t p a t i o n is more likely when an isolated population is small because significant genetic change are more likely to occur in a small population than a large one. The Garpox Islands are very suitable for us because they provide opportunities for population isolated while making a gradual dispersion between island p o s i d e 
これじゃ D じゃ D だよなこういう時って大体 D だようわからんこと書いてる時は D because of the global frustration of the Galapagos Island the species that now inhabit them have gen pools that are not changed very much これ違う E は選んでないな普通に OK エビデンスインディケーテッドダイトファーストオーガニズムトゥリーチエフェランダエビデンスインディケーテッドダイトファーストオーガニズムトゥリーチダ That in less than 2 million years of そんな話してないおっとこれは完全にミステリア完全にミステリアパーク42でした次43の1か明日しようアンダルゴーンアンダルゴーンで43の1しよう終わるか。